think I did vote no, and that's the one. I think I would. Okay. That when it comes to amendment, I want to read each and every one. We're, I'm delighted that he's getting going back to work again, and uh, he's just a workaholic guy. And uh, and so uh, to me, uh, unfortunate that it happened, but it happened, and I think he's setting a good role model example that you just come through it, you continue with life, and you uh, you do your job. I think uh, confidence in the sense now if he comes back from this and he goes back to his regular regiment, there's a role model right there to say, you know, COVID, uh, it, it's not a death sentence. I don't believe in wearing the mask either, but I will out of respect to other people. He, you know, each person has their own right. This is the United States of America. Do I believe in the coronavirus? Absolutely not. He's got the best medical care any person in the world does, basically. He's got a team of doctors around him, and he's got, you know, the vice president there with me. It's, it's, I don't think there's any reason to think there'd be an effect on cognitive abilities. Less so than if I took Dimetap and went to bed at night. In my opinion, the, the, the COVID will not affect his decision making whatsoever. I think, I, I think with the technology the way it is, I think it'll be just uh, business as usual with him.